Hey guys, good morning. Cheyenne, your local RV gal. I have something super exciting behind me. So this is an East West Entrada. It is a 2200S and it's so cute and I can't wait to show it to you guys. Let's go take a peek. Okay guys, so this 2200S is only 24 foot. It is on that 7.3 liter V8 Godzilla engine and you have the E350 chassis. So I will show you guys, you do have a little bit of storage on the outside little light strip up here so this is a nice big awning that goes the whole length of the coach up here so you do have a little cubby up here in the front and that is all like that rotocast right there so it's nice and secure no seams in there you do have a one ted plug and a cable hookup out here so if you need to put an outdoor tv watch the ball game or something like that you can and then you have a cubby in the back there give you a little side view from here and then in the back, you do have a backup camera up top there. So you can turn that on while you're traveling. And then you have a hitch back here that's rated for 7,500. You gotta do a little math, subtract some cargo and stuff, but you do have a nice hitch back there. Ladder, so you do have a fully walkable roof. You can totally get up there and check your seals and stuff if you need to. And then your slide already comes with a slide topper. So you don't have to worry about adding that additionally after, after the fact. Another little cubby back here. That one's pretty deep too. And then this guy, we got an under the bed cubby right here too. And then that's your 30 amp power cord. Stinky slinky connection goes right there. Your fuel, so your gas is gonna go on the left side, driver's side, which I love. So you can actually pull in and kind of see how close you get to that pump there. 30 amp power connection, cable satellite power connection. And then you have your fresh water, city water, and your black tank flush back here. You do have the upgraded Fogati tankless water system so that is going to heat your um heat your water up without having to fill a tank first and then propane connection is right over here so you'll have to take that to a fill station to fill the propane and then access to your brand new yamaha 4500 inverted generator this thing is amazing quieter than what we had before and a little bit beefier so that is in there. And then your side cameras are mounted down low. So you do have side cameras. If you hit the left blinker, your left camera will come on. If you hit the right blinker, your right blinker will come on. I like them down low. So sometimes cars are small that are traveling beside you. Not everything is gonna be as big as you are when you're traveling. So having those down low, you can actually see everything from the roadside, which is really, really nice. I'm gonna take you guys inside. Nice and sunny today in Florida. So, nice big grab handle right here too, so I love that. And you got a little screen door. When you first walk in, your power, I just turned this on, but your power disconnect is right here. Your awning button is here, and then your 30 amp solar controller is right there. And you also have another grab handle right here too. So here's the cockpit area. Bunk up top here. So this piece fits in here like a puzzle and makes this a big queen bed. So this is the same size bed that you have in the back. TV is right here across from your seating area. So you have a nice dinette here that also turns into a bed. Plenty of cabinet storage up top there. Nice big air conditioner here in the center. And then you have all of this wardrobe storage too. Huge storage space in here. And then you have three really deep drawers too. Those are soft clothes, which is nice. Your bed back here is in the slide out, so you do have the bend to it. You'll have to flip that up whenever you're closed for travel, but it is a nice big queen bed back here. And then you have the um, sink area right outside of the bathroom with a nice big medicine closet storage. And then your um, control for your tankless water heater is gonna be right there. Nice storage under here too. And then this is actually your upgraded thermometer. I love that this is digital. So that will control your air conditioner right there. And then you have your potty and your nice big shower back here with a skylight and you got a little fan back here too. And then not all coaches have a rear window. I love the rear window. Nice when you're driving, but also whenever you're parked, you can kind of see out there and you got a big window on this side too. This fridge is new, you guys. So you can open one way if I'm over here or you can open the other way. Same thing with the freezer. So it opens on either side, which is really, really nice. Then you have also up here where you can, let me just pause that, someone's calling me. So storage up top here on both sides. 
You have a convection microwave down here, so you can bake in there, you can grill in there. That thing is awesome because it doesn't put a bunch of heat out like the traditional oven does. And then this three burner cooktop is spaced a lot further apart than some of the other ones that I've seen. So I think you can actually put three pots on here, like legitimately put three pots on here and cook. And then you got the little splash guard up top here too. And I love the big ball sinks. So you can actually wash a big pot in there and then you have the little fit in too. So you have a little bit of extra countertop space, which is awesome. And then more storage down there. You got a little drawer on the bottom. No floor vents. So I love that. Everything is kind of ran through the cabinetry there. So I'll give you another little spin here. Perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that follow button if you like RV tours. Bye guys.